Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to come on and talk about if you're not able to detox, would that lead to weight gain? Short answer, yes, every time, especially in the female body. So I'm gonna go through really important things about um, what happens in the system when you don't detox and how your physiology responds to keep your system safe. But first, I wanted to list off just a few of the ways that your body detoxes naturally. Now. These are things that should be functioning, should be, right? Mm -hmm. Should be functioning properly in your system. You detox a lot of hormone and everything else, including stress through the liver, right? The gut is very important. It also does a huge pathway of detoxification. So if that's not working correctly, you're not really detoxing properly. Yep, lymph detoxes, kidney detoxes, skin detoxes, right? If you guys want me to do more details on this, Specifically, I absolutely can just let me go. You can always drop a comment below and I can do more on detox pathways or how this works in the body or how this is impacted by stress and hormones and all that fun stuff. So just let me know. Oh, hi, Gary. Hi, puppies. Oh, come. Oh, Gary, why are you muddy? Oh, <laughs> Gary, Gary decided to come down. Gary's my puppy and Murray. Oh, they're muddy and wet. Mm, okay. <laughs> Real life, real life, totally. Okay, back to detoxing. These are the main ways to detox. Let me know if you want to, if you want me to deep dive into them, how that works, why it's important, where things get held up specifically. But the overall impact on the body is you will have weight gain, weight gain. And it is not just regular weight gain. This is really stubborn weight. There is a lot of weight loss resistance with this. A lot of weight loss resistance with this. Why? This is a very simple picture to demonstrate how this happens. These are, for example, adipose cells, uh, fat tissue. And your, your fat tissue is functional. That's the one thing we forget. We always think about it, oh, I don't want it, or I want to burn fat and all these things. But metabolically, especially for the female body, if there's you're not detoxing or you're under too much stress, you literally cannot, your body will not do it. I went over some test results today with somebody and after looking at this I was like yeah your body is not detoxing and I know that your system is, is having weight loss resistance and she was like yes it is and I was like yeah I know I can see it in your labs I can see it in your labs so we do labs to confirm all these things make sure that we're not missing anything if you want more information on working with me in a one-on-one -on -one level I do have just a couple of slots open available right now for that I'm gonna put a link right here below um, as Gary still bumps my camera. <laughs> um, so you guys can learn more about that where we do GI mapping, Dutch testing, everything to check all your hormones. Gary, no, I see you. I see you puppy. He's going to get it. I tell you. So let me know if you guys have more questions about that, um, or need more guidance with that. But when we look at this and look at the body's response to not being able to detox, these red dots are any type of, you know, thing that can't be detoxed from the body. A lot of times people talk about toxins or things like that. Yes, absolutely. If you have issues with um, chemicals or things that you come into contact with, you know, things externally that get introduced to your system, yes, this can cause the same factor. It also can be caused by things within your body, your body's own natural processes. When your body, you know, uses nutrient or goes through um, natural functions, byproducts are created. And if your body cannot flush out those byproducts, you can't detox, which leads to this, exactly. So here's a fat cell with some things in it, right? That's housed in the fat cell, okay, right? Now there's an influx of more that your body can't detox. It's not detoxing. Again, there can be different pathways for doing this. So again, again, let me know if you want me to do more a deep dive on specific pathways or what to target and why this would be important. But when this happens, this influx happens, especially with fat cells, they're very dynamic. They're like a balloon. If, they're, if there's not that much in there, right? Not that much air in there, the balloon is small, a little flat, like a little pancake kind of. But then when there becomes more stuff in there, the body will not tolerate this concentration to be really high. So it won't let these, like this concentration won't happen in the body with all these two close together. So to give the toxins space, it creates a bigger container, a bigger area here. So now 
see the concentration then per area is the same. The dots are the same space apart. That's the way the body wants to keep it. It doesn't like it being this close together. It keeps it far apart. So it needs to have a bigger area for it and a bigger area and a bigger area if you're not detoxing. So this can happen slowly over time. This can happen, you know, where you're like, gosh, yeah, I've just been kind of putting on weight. Every year I put on 10 pounds and I'm not doing anything different. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, my hormones are getting, you know, more out of control. And yes, I'm out of, I've got stress or my hair is falling out or whatever it is, but I'm not really doing that much different. I'm not doing anything that would be equivalent to me gaining this weight. What is going on? This is going on. Your body's not getting rid of it. It's not getting rid of these things, which means you will not be able to lose the weight. So not only does it cause the weight gain, you also get weight loss resistance. Oh, is that fun? Little bonus, little bonus thrown in there. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much you exercise. You can't outrun this. Can't just eat more kale to get rid of it. You have to help your system go through these processes naturally and help your body function better. That way it can actually tap into these fat cells, release the excess toxins from there that your body needs to release. Again, some of these things are created within your own system naturally. And then those fat cells actually decrease in size. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> Yay. I'm glad this is good info. Yeah. So a lot of people get really stuck on, oh, it's calories in calories out, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But you can eat the perfect amount of calories. And if your body's not doing this, you're not going to lose any weight. You're going to be stuck here. So if you've experienced this, this is what's happening and we need to get your body going. And if you have any other health issues, those are things that we go over. I want to make sure that your body is functioning the way that it should be. That way, when you actually do lose the weight, you keep it off. We keep your body functioning really, really well. We make sure that these processes are happening to the best of your ability all the time. So you don't keep going backwards. Nobody likes that, right? Women on average go on four different diets per year. Why? Because we love diets. Oh my God, I can't wait to do another one. I can't wait to starve myself again. Oh, so fantastic. No, no one likes that. We do it because the last one stopped working. Again, this is where the issue is. This is why we gain weight and can't lose it. So by focusing on getting our bodies to function better, we actually get results and keep it. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Again, please let me know if you have more questions or want me to deep dive into this more. I'd be more than happy to. I love talking about cells and fat cells and how the body works and functions and female physiology and all the things. Yes, it's my jam. Um, I also have other resources for you, of course. My book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon, as well as The Female Menopause Solution, also on Amazon. So if you're looking for more information here, I have my podcast, which is called The Female Health Solution, and then my YouTube channel is called Dr. Beth Westy. Tons of info there. Again, if you are looking for something specific or a specific piece of information that I don't have there, message me, let me know, or comment below. I'm more than happy to do more content that is tailored for you. My mission here is to educate women more on how your physiology works so you can actually do the right things so you feel better and keep your results. Yeah, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any other questions. Otherwise, I will see you later.